Hi everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I wanted to share more, even more examples of how to open a comic book slab, specifically a CGC slab. And uh, this is just a brief video to show you how I personally do it. So I hope you like the video. Enjoy and take care. Bye-bye. Start with, with this giant size X-Pin number one. What I do is take my Dremel with a cutting wheel uh, around the outside. Mostly I'm cutting into the, the heat sealed pins in the four corners. And there's one heat sealed spot on the, usually the left side of the slab where it's melted together and you need to get a cutting wheel in there and cut that apart uh, and then what i do afterwards is take a screwdriver and i walk around and snap the case open now in this particular video that video didn't come out it was actually just a just a photo of me doing it my uh, young videographer made a, an error but just imagine me walking around and snapping that off and then the video continues from there you can find links to the dremel and the cutting wheels that i use in the description below if you are uh, if you seek those so uh enjoy it's kind of like... So this is what we do to cut it. We find this ruler up here and we take a knife and just cut it out. What you need to know the most here is you do not have to cut right, uh, let me see here. You do not have to cut right next to the book. You just need to cut before the seal somewhere. So I would put my ruler, you know, somewhere here away from the book, but inside the heat seal. Same thing on the bottom, like you don't have to cut it right next to the book. You might be, you might be tempted to do that, but cut it right inside here. You'll be better off. I can't hold this and do this at the same time, but I'll show you in a minute. And then if you do that perfectly right, you can just lift this cover up right here and the book comes right out. So if we look at this book, we can tell it has been cleaned, uh, but it hasn't been pressed. You can see that there's, a little bit of a bump right here from some staples coming through so maybe there was a light attempt to press even here you can see the staples coming through in the front and uh, so there was probably a little bit of an effort um, and then the spine is deformed of course as most are but I don't think that's from pressing I think that's just naturally maybe how it came so many are like that and the back is, is wider around the edges than the inside. You can, I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, it's quite a bit dirtier here than there. And uh, you can see that there was, it looks like a racer put on, you can especially tell because the eraser kind of pushes these staples into the paper when they're rubbing. And um, so there's been some cleaning effort, which is good. It looks, I'm sure it looks better than it did. And that's the rest of the book. We're gonna try to press this out and see what kind of, things we can get out of here um, it's not too rough really um, but we'll press it a little better and but the back I guess has a little bit of some there's a big crease running right here you can see it right along here like the, like the whole back cover was at one point I'll try to catch it in the light a little bit if you can tell it's right where my thumb is there if you can see that I don't know if the light will catch it but you can see that crease and we'll try to get that out of there too. Cool. And so here is another example. Same thing, there's the, another famous book that we often see is a Hulk 181 and we're going to open this guy too the same way. We're going to start in this corner and I'm just going to get through this, this that pin right there. And you'll feel when you're through that that pin, you'll know it. And uh, this one is heat sealed. I'm 
two sides, I think. So I might have to cut through it here and here. You can see a little spot where they, they do that. So I'm just going to get all four corners and then those two heat seal spots. So here we go. Now you can see where the heat sealed it right here. I need to get through that. seen a heat seal spot over here on this side but I'm no longer think that I just was seeing a reflection which would have been unusual anyway but now I'm just gonna dig in here and I'm going to just crack this this guy open axe and start at the top I just kind of walk around and you might have to still snap a little where your plastic melted back together and just kind of walk around the book and the reason I do this is I'm trying to preserve the case. There we go. A little bit so I can use it for shipping and sort of reassembling. And I just don't like, in general, the violence of all the cracking the thing out of the case. It just seems a little inelegant to me. So, let's see here. I'm just going to walk around and get this guy open. There we go that sort of satisfying crack that you hear. The sides are usually much better sealed than the top and the bottom. And let's see here, got that. We are gonna walk around here. And at this point I could just open it like a sandwich and, and the whole thing would just come open, but I don't, I'm trying to, re, trying to not do that. Sometimes it'll get a big crack right down the middle, or like kind of a big triangle will come off of it when you do that. So I'm just gonna here run this thing down here, and it should preserve the case. This guy, there we go. Ta-da! It's gonna come out now. There's our book. We have all this plastic. I'm gonna clean this up, and I'll come back and film the rest. So again, note that what we're doing here is we're cutting, we just want to cut inside the actual heat seal and we don't really necessarily need to cut inside of the, where the, where the book is. You might be tempted to 
and so I'm just trying to find that heat seal mark in each case it's right out here in this case you can just see it where that my finger is again I'm going to take my protective ruler here and I'm going to push this down and I have my razor knife to cut this thing in here and I'm pressing with my fingers and also pressing kind of up a little so that I resist the slipping that I might have from the knife because this, this material is actually pretty thick and, uh, so that's uh, not quite apart here so I'm just going to kind of ride this knife along the the edge there, same spot, and it should should come open now. There we go. And then I'm going to have to cut this a little more because it's not quite apart here. There we go. There we are. Come on, fella. Now a lot of people just take scissors along here and cut that, and that's fine too. Everybody's got their own way, you know. You can do your own thing. There we are just a little bit of a spot stuck, and I'll just do the bottom here. And so there's the heat seal mark. See, so I'm going to stay well away from the book, and I've never made that mistake, but I would hate to cut into a book itself, which would be awful, of course. And there's two. There should be two parts right there. So then you can, at that point, get the book out. You know, I like to do three. And then that's, that's how we get it out of there. I'm sure, as I almost certainly will mention in my introduction here, that there are other ways to get books out of these things. Less elegant, more elegant, faster, safer, I don't know. But this is my way. It's the way I like to do it. I've seen my friends do this in seconds. And they'll just get a screwdriver in there and just crank that thing open and they're just done in a moment. And, but that's just not... That is not for me, so I like to be more careful and deliberate. And this one has got a, it's kind of stuck right there. So I'm gonna, this guy has uh, got a little tiny spot that is still stuck right here. So I'm gonna get that guy out and then, um, and then I'll show you the book. So let's see, I'm gonna snake him out of here now. <coughs> and here's the, here is our friend. There's a Hulk. 181, of course, another one of these guys. It's pretty dirty. It needs a lot of love, I imagine. And uh, has it doesn't really have a lot of evidence of cleaning. So we'll we'll give it a shot. Maybe straighten that spine out a little bit. It's not. It doesn't look. Pre it doesn't look particularly wrinkly. I'm not sure how much pressing will do it, but you know, it's that classic classic book. So I've seen so many hundreds of these things, and uh, this one's got the stamp probably. Where is that stamp with the, uh, was it Shanna the She-Devil or something? There it is. Yep, Shanna the She-Devil. So even if you bought this just for the value stamp in a higher grade book, you could marry this to another one. And otherwise it looks like your classic. Hulk 181 that we all see, and there's good old Wolvie. There he is. Why not try your luck against me? Cool stuff. Love it.